Okay, before anyone starts screaming, the AI apocalypse is here and every creator will be replaced by bots. Take a breath. Yes, AI is getting wild, but no, it's not gonna like, uh, replace filmmakers overnight. What it is doing though, is making life way easier for people who actually want to create content without becoming a one person post-production studio and her wizard. The tool that turned my long form chaos into bite-sized gold without me having to live in Adobe Premiere forever. Let's be real. If you've ever tried to turn a 45 minute live stream or a crazy interview into 10 snackable TikToks, you know the pain. Scrubbing, chopping, hunting for the moment that actually lands, it's tedious. Visor solves that with real practical AI features and it runs right in your browser. No heavy workstation, no spinning fans, no praying to your GPU gods. That alone is a game changer for casual creators, small teams, and anyone who hates rendering bars. So what makes Vizard stand out? The basics first, it's built around three solid ideas, auto editing viral clips, automatic scheduling, and a centralized content calendar. But don't worry, I'm not gonna just repeat those three points like a product sheet. I'll show you what they mean in real life and why they actually matter. Auto editing viral clips. Think of this as the AI that watches your full video and pulls out the juicy moments. It's not just detecting loud noises or camera zooms. It finds the emotional spikes, the jokes, the reactions, the things people will stop scrolling for. Upload a long video, tell Vizard your vibe, upbeat, educational, dramatic, and it serves up ready to post clips. Some tools will spit out clips that feel robotic or chopped off. Vizard's clips tend to keep the context and the punch, which means your audience actually gets why that moment was funny or important. Auto schedule, once you have clips, what do you do with them? Post them all at once and watch algorithms bury your work or manually schedule every single one and waste a day. Vizard's scheduler lets you pick a cadence, say two posts a day every weekday, and it fills the calendar for you. You can preview the schedule, shift things around, and Vizard will queue them up. It's the difference between treating content like a one-off sprint and treating it like a consistent channel strategy. Content calendar, this is where most creators get lost. Multiple platforms, different formats, different captions, different post times. Vizard's content calendar is like your editorial control room. You can manage, modify, and publish clips across socials from a single place. Need to tweak a caption for Instagram versus Twitter? Done. Want to see what's going live next week at a glance? It's there. For anyone who runs a channel and tries to stay consistent, this is a massive time saver. User experience. Vizard nails the simple, slick UI. If you're used to web-based editors like Canva or Capwing, you'll feel right at home. Each tool has a short, helpful description, plus presets and templates, so you're never stuck staring at sliders. There are tutorials and examples too, like which is huge if you're new to editing. You don't need to learn node-based compositing or bury yourself in masking tutorials. Vizard guides you. And uh, if you're a pro who likes control, there are customization options, so the AI suggestions don't feel limiting. Now, um, I know some of you are thinking about like, other AI tools like, like Runway or those fancy generative video apps. And yes, those are impressive in their own way. Runway has been in the headlines for text to video stuff, background removal, and some cool generative features. But if you're a creator trying to post daily, Runway's outputs can still feel inconsistent and uncanny, and their generative videos often don't obey physics or continuity. Plus, a tool that makes 10 second experiments is fun, but not always practical when you need polished social clips that actually represent your brand. By contrast, Vizard isn't trying to replace cinematography. It's trying to be the fast, reliable assistant that turns your long content into consistent short content. Instead of dreaming up synthetic scenes, Vizard focuses on making real footage work harder for you. That pragmatic approach is underrated. Audio, quick note about audio. We all know AI voice tech has come a long way. Some platforms have really natural TTS and voice cloning. <laughs> Shout out to Eleven Labs for their high fidelity stuff. Vizard isn't pitching itself as the next audio superstar. It's like instead it integrates well with captioning, subtitle generation, and keeps your audio sync tight when clips are cut. If you want to swap in a voiceover, it's easy to do. If you want to polish the existing track, Vizard makes that painless. For most creators, you'll get studio-ready captions and balanced audio without digging into an external DAO. Image and visual touch-ups. Look, tools like Midjourney and Dolly changed the creative game for still images. They gave us mood boards and quick concept art in seconds. Vizard's strength isn't generating images from text. It's applying smart editing moves to actual footage. You can quickly add caption animations, transitions, and templates that match platform best practices. That means, your clip looks native to TikTok or Instagram Reels without rebuilding the whole scene manually. A few real world caveats, generative AI is still a bit gimmicky for full on filmmaking. I've watched AI heavy submissions at indie festivals and honestly, sometimes they feel like collage experiments rather than cohesive films. Visored isn't pretending to make Oscar worthy cinema out of a webcam recording. What it does do is make everyday creators look consistently sharp, which for most of us is the part that actually matters. Credits and pricing, yeah, money matters. Vizard offers a free tier that gets you started. Useful clips, limited exports, enough to test the workflow. For a regular use, the paid plan unlocks longer exports, removes watermarks, and gives you the scheduling and calendar features. It's fair pricing compared to some heavy duty suites that assume you'll spend thousands on hardware. 
Also, Vizard's subscription is team-friendly in spirit. It supports collaborative workflows, but be aware that some platforms charge per user if you want full collaboration. That's industry standard, and it's something to keep an eye on when you scale a team. Collaboration and workflow. If you're part of a small team or a one-person shop handling content for multiple creators, Vizard's organization tools are neat. You can upload raw footage, let the AI suggest clips, approve the ones you like, and then schedule them. It's better than sharing 10 Dropbox links and having someone manually assemble content in a separate editor. And if you're a creator outsourcing edits, you can export a batch of AI picked clips and hand them to an editor for polish like, so you get speed and quality. And limitations, nothing's perfect. The AI sometimes misses subtle context, a line that's hilarious with a buildup might get clipped out of context if the algorithm favors short punchy moments. Also, extreme creative control, like custom color grading across a whole series, may still be better handled in a dedicated NLE. But for 90% of daily social output, Vizard handles the heavy lifting. A few tips if you try it, record with clarity. Good lighting and clear audio make the AI's job way easier. Give the AI a vibe. Tell it you want educational highlights or hype moments and tweak the clip length presets. Use the preview feature before committing to a whole month of scheduled posts. That way you don't burn through all your slots on the wrong style. And lock in your brand elements once, logo, color, fonts, so every auto-generated clip feels like part of a consistent feed. Compared to other tools, like I'll be upfront, like there are other pieces of the puzzle like raw background removal, advanced compositing, or experimental generative video that some competitors do better at. Runway and others can be incredible for experimental work or when you need very specific AI generation features, but they can be pricey, inconsistent, and sometimes feel more like a toy than a productivity tool. Vizard's sweet spot is scale and repeatability. If you want to post reliably and build an audience, it's built for that. Final thoughts, um, if you're a creator who wants to win at attention economics, like which basically means getting the right clip in front of the right audience at the right time, Vizard is surprisingly powerful without being pretentious. It's not about replacing creativity, it's about unblocking it. Let the AI handle the grind, you keep the ideas. If you want to try it out, start with a free plan and throw a few of your long videos at it. Play with the presets, check the scheduler, and see how your calendar fills out. If you like consistent posting but hate the editing grind, Vizard could honestly double your output without doubling your work. All right, that's my quick ramble on Vizard. If you've got questions about a specific workflow, like, like turning interviews into daily clips or repurposing podcasts into short reels, uh, drop a comment and I'll walk through a step-by-step. -step. Meanwhile, go make something and let the AI handle the boring parts. See you in the next one.